Welcome back to Fallout 76. We're in Harper's Ferry, just outside of the north entrance to... Oh, no. Well, for some reason, I'm outside the south entrance to the burrows. Oh, crap. Uh, I was fully expecting to be up here at the north entrance, but maybe it's a good thing up at the south entrance? I don't know. We need to go back in here and uh, make our way back to the pump station, which is where we ended the last episode. And uh, as I was thinking of playing this episode, I was trying to remember how I got to Central uh, from the north entrance, and I feel like I knew how to get there, but uh, now I'm going in the south entrance. And I mean, I guess there's really nothing that's keeping that kept me from walking over to the north entrance and going in that way, but I figured maybe the game is trying to tell me something, that uh, this is the easiest way to get to the pumps. Um, a little bothered that uh, I don't have a uh, marker telling me how to get to the pumps. I was kind of hoping that there'd be a marker and I would just follow that marker, but I don't have one. So instead, uh, we are going to just simply um, follow the signs to central. I don't know why the R is written like that. Maybe no reason at all. But uh, we're going to fight our way back here. I don't plan on spending much time at all fighting my way through here, just... Um, Shooting them as I see them. Uh, not really going out of my way to loot. Because I just want to get to Central. So we can get back to the pump station. Oh, he's got some good stuff on him. I mean, if I walk right over top of him, you know. Sure, why not? Oh, wait a minute. This is where that legendary was, wasn't it? He's on a legendary. He's not a legendary. He's not a legendary. Is the legendary not back there this time? So, um, I guess this is as good a time as any to talk about this. I I've had a couple of people ask me uh, what weapon I'm using uh, because I'm always talking about how much I love this weapon and how much damage it does. Uh, this is a, a legendary weapon that I I think I bought from somebody else's camp. I don't think I found this weapon. The instigating hardened lever action rifle. Check this thing out, man. Double damage if target is full health. That's why it's so important that I uh, sneak up on people. That's why I sneak, why I'm always crouching. Um, it's got, oh, I've got, it's got a suppressor on it, so I stay quiet. So like if I shoot this guy over here, this guy over here doesn't hear it so that I get double damage on him as well. Uh, VATS critical shots do uh, additional 50% damage. Uh, I don't take advantage of criticals as much as I should. Uh, I do use them against like Scorch Beasts and stuff like that though, so that's certainly nice. And then 25% less VATS action point cost. That is awesome for me because I, um, I, I pretty much use VATS all the time. Um, pretty much every shot I take I use VATS. Again, because I'm sneaking, I'm sniping, and I have time to uh, use VATS to uh, shoot people. Um, it's a fantastic weapon. It, it just does so much great damage. And I have, um, you know, I don't, I don't know what the right word is, built my character around it uh, with the help of my viewers. Uh, I've got um, uh, Rifleman leveled up to three, which gives me ex an extra 20% damage. Um, I've got, oh crap. Uh, Put that back on there. I've got, um, you know, expert rifleman. Golly, I hate this interface so freaking much, man. Uh, I've got expert rifleman and I've got master rifleman. All of these give me uh, additional, you know, this gives me another 20%. This gives me another 20%. I've got tank killer up to three, which ignores 30% chance of 30, 34% armor and uh, has a 9% chance to stagger. Um, uh, this is all stuff that I would not have figured out on my own. This was my great viewers who have really, really helped me build this character. And, I mean, he's awesome. It's just, this guy is so powerful. It's fantastic. Uh, but anyway, that's how I'm able to do so much damage with this weapon. And that's what the weapon is. So, it looks like we're not going to find a uh, legendary here this time. That's okay. I just thought uh, since I was here, I would just kind of peek my head in here real quick and see if there was. Because there was one in there last time. 
Uh, I saw him walking around and I got hopeful that maybe there was a legendary in there. I don't know. I guess we could peek our head in here and see. I mean, look at that. <laughs> so freaking awesome. I'm not quite indestructible. I mean, it is possible, you know, for somebody to sneak up on me still. Um, or hordes of uh, enemies are still a problem for me because I don't have a real good uh, close range weapon still. But uh, that's usually not a problem because I usually get to them before they get to me. Usually. Plasma cartridges. No, I want plasma cores, not cartridges. Okay, still trying to make my way to central. I've lost uh, track of the signs. But I think I want to keep going this way. Somebody behind me? Somebody in front of me? It's kind of a scary place. He had something good on him, didn't he? Red X diluted. Um, I don't need to turn that valve. I did that in a previous episode. Crap, man, where is Central? Uh, I think up here to the left. I think. They're rising from their graves. Central's this way. Yep, we're there almost. We're almost there. I don't know what I'm going to need to redo, if anything. Oh, that's interesting. Rad rad down here. I say interesting because, uh, for the most part, I've just seen uh, varieties of ghoul down here. Oh. Oh. What's making that noise? Boy, this guy really wanted to come and get me. He actually jumped off that walkway. Yikes! Well, oh jeez, oh gosh. See, this is what I'm talking about. When they come at me in groups, uh, it could be trouble. And I got really lucky there, lucky there that those were not those level 62 charred dudes, because that would have been a problem. Um, these low level 15 dudes, not too much of a tr problem for me. Still says danger. And this is a dangerous place. There are a lot of dudes down here. Oh, there's some good stuff on that machine gun turret. Still suffering from radworms from the last episode. I don't really care. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, in the last episode, uh, when we came here, uh, that gate was open. And I didn't even need to use this key that I picked up. I'm hoping I still have the key and I don't need to go get it. But if I do, it's right down there. I would say that the only, about the only thing I don't like about this weapon is that it doesn't hold a lot of um, bullets in its, I don't know, chamber, magazine, I don't know what the right word is. Uh, I wish it held more, it only holds five, but um, oh well. Still. Baddies running around here. Like there's somebody upstairs. Okay, good. I still had the key. Okay. So we're going to go through the pump station. Oh, oh. Oh, crap. That's a legendary right there. It's a legendary. I don't want to forget about him. Assassin's Blade. So we got some kind of Assassin's Blade. I, I'm not interested in that. We'll look at it here in just a sec. So we picked up Assassin's Mr. Handy Buzz Blade. This is for playing against other players, and that's not my bag, man. Um, it's a one star, 10 plus 10% damage to players. So, I, I'm... I don't know, 95% of the time disappointed in the legendary weapons that I pick up. <laughs> I don't know if I've really ever, actually maybe I'm 100% maybe I'm disappointed, I don't know if I've ever picked up 
a legendary weapon off of an enemy that I've actually liked. I don't know if I'm just killing the wrong enemies or what. But uh, I have not had any luck. But it's still fun. Taking out the legendaries. Well, we made it our way back here. I have a feeling we're going to have to turn a valve before we could get through here. And sure enough, we do. So it's no problem. The game is going to tell me where to how to get there. That's fine. Well, we got back here pretty quickly, huh? That wasn't too bad. Um. Uh. Okay. I need to go around here. I'm not remembering now. Holy hell, I don't remember this being... I, I think I just got turned around. Yeah, I got... I got all turned around. Okay, let me see if I can make my way back here. <laughs> the release valve. I found the release valve by accident in the last episode. Completely by accident. Um, is it this way? Yeah, good. Okay, cool. See if there's somebody waiting for me over there. I think there is. I think there's one dude in here. No? No dudes. Alright, that's fine with me. Okay, we're gonna turn the valve and then we're gonna... I don't know if we need to rush. But I'm gonna rush. Okay, this is new. This didn't happen last time. <laughs> That's funny, they were lying in wait. I don't know why I pick up the industrial solvent. I don't know what I use it for. Oh, gut shrimp. Don't know what I use that for either. Five millimeter rounds, I could sell those. People buy them. Or they did once anyway. At least once. Okay, here we are. We've made it back. Now there should be an option to open this door. Okay. So. Not too bad. Took us just a little over 10 minutes to get back here. If we look at our quest. Uh, the Brotherhood Intel was correct. The pump station is covered with robots. I should search the station for evidence of their origin. So we are going to investigate the pump station for the source of activity. And there is many a Colonel Gutsy in here. Now these guys are not as squishy as the other enemies we've been facing. But I'm still picking them off without too much trouble. Not really sure where I'm supposed to go. But we'll figure it out. We always do. This is pretty nasty down here. Oh. Alright, we're gonna go for a walk in this water down here. I feel like I walk really fast in water. I mean, way too fast. Ah, some good stuff in that ammo box. Okay, this is kind of neat. Uh, I can't remember which one it is. One of my quick slots is Rad X. I'm going to take some Rad X. And we'll go ahead and take some Rad away too while we're at it. <laughs> so we saw some ammo in a hole in the wall back there. Now we see a first aid box in a hole in the wall. That's kind of funny. Oh, hmm, interesting. Oh, an empty toolbox. Now, well, don't know if this is going to take us anywhere or not. Okay, well, now we're over here. I don't know where here is, though. Hey, do you mind? That's just rude. That is rude. Shooting at a man as he exits the sewers. Don't let the alluring boy fool you. I'm a lethal killing machine. 
Oh. Legendary. Got all this health back. Let me get my ammo back. Two star. He's just standing there. Letting me shoot him. Okay, we got him. I have to remember to go up and see what he had. Not expecting much. Now, if there's one... Oh, jeez. If there's one enemy that still frightens me, it's the Robo. The, uh, not the Robo, the Assaultrons. They... They frighten me. They are tough. Body over there. Still a little radioactive down in here. Danger, it says. <laughs> I've never heard a, an Assaultron say those things. Talking about her alluring voice and being pro... I think she said something like, I could have been programmed to love, but no. I guess she's what she said. I calculate your chance of success to be... Well, I don't want to be morbid. Oh, that's actually a... Did that say Robobrain Sentry? That's not even Assaultron. And an Assaultron I'm hearing. That's a Robobrain. So that's different. Okay. Well, I'm afraid of Robobrains too. Used oil can. Coolant. Sure, why not? So this is that uh, legendary Mr. Gutsy we took out. And from him we get an assassin's... Are you kidding me? The exact same freaking thing? Okay, game. Oh no, this is different. Suppressor's Western Resolver. Reduce your target's damage output by 20% for 3 seconds. I didn't quite catch the, all of that. Okay, so I did get a different weapon. I don't know why it told me this one again. Suppressor's Western Revolver. Reduce your target's damage output by 20% for 3 seconds. And then a plus 33% VATS hit chance. Eh... Hmm, eh. Not what I'm looking for. So, here's something walking around in there. Before I go up there, let's go back this way. I want to verify that this is where I came in. Loose screws. Still giving me a caution. Don't know who sees me. Oh, a metal box. Requires no skill to unlock. You or I could walk up and pick this lock using a screwdriver and a bobby pin. This is a pretty tough skill level lo zero lock. Sheesh. Okay, I believe this is where we came in over here. So I've made a circle. That's okay. I like to um, explore a place thoroughly. You know that. Here's a control room. Um, I don't know how to get in there, but uh, there is a welcoming party. And that over there may be the robo brain that's been uh, talking to us. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where it's going. It's going up there like it knows the way out. And over here, there's a terminal up here. Oh yeah? So we gotta, maybe this unlocks that door down there. Terminal requires skill three, and uh, we do have skill three. Here's a body here, all crumpled up over here, gosh. Uh, let's see what this terminal does. Instructor. Two likenesses. Detection or protection has, um, I believe, only one likeness. Uh, productive has. Hmm. Um, am I seeing no likenesses between those two? I'm seeing no likenesses. Bed chamber. One likeness. Only seeing one likeness. Uh, separation. 
One likeness, two likenesses, two likenesses. Four likenesses in separation. Choke point has um, one, just one likeness, I think. Associates, well, it sounds like something's coming up right behind me. Uh, bed bedraggled? Especially, oh man. Hmm. I'm not, let's see, does this one have? Huh, I'm not seeing one that has four likenesses with separation. Let me look at these again. Choke point has one. No, associates. I don't see four likenesses there. Bedraggled. Don't see it there either, especially. Well, this is this is awkward. Um, I do not see a word with four likenesses for separation. I mean, unless I just really overlooked these. I mean, protection has four likenesses. Maybe. Okay, protection. <laughs> okay, let's open the door. This could be a big mistake. I don't know. He's going to let those guys out. The door is open. We are currently hidden. I was hoping I could get a shot. <laughs> uh, I got my hope. Nice. Took care of that Robo Brain sentry without too much trouble at all. That is pretty nice right there. Looking at this um, walkway here and wondering where it used to go. It looks like it's collapsed here. But, I don't know, maybe it used to somehow go over top of this pipe and go over to there, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, we'll take some of this stuff. Somebody left their mutt chops there, man. Oh, I'm thirsty. Hold on, let me drink something. Just drink some purified water. Ooh. Actual Nuka Cherry, Nuka Cola. Doggone it, I should have picked those up first. I would have drank those. Oh well, it's no big deal. I'm gonna guess this button opens or shuts that door. Got some uh, bobby pins. A locker that's locked. Hmm. I have not seen many locked lockers in this game, despite their name. Um, stim pack. Psycho. Oh, another one. Okay. Well, we need to uh, go in here and equip a uh, lockpick so I could get in here. Oh, man. So close, but so far away. Oh, well. Let's see here. Uh, this one has 44 rounds. I don't care about those. And Somebody's uh, complete baseball set here. I'll leave that there for the next guy. Take off expert pick lock. Put. Talk on it. <laughs> I wanted to scroll to the right down here, but you gotta click on it first and then scroll. Okay, put Master Rifleman back on. I found the bathroom. Uh, cleaner? I don't know. Game seems to think I want it. I like to keep my light turned off, you know, helps with the stealth and all that. Okay. Hot dog tray, Nuka Cola cup and straw, and some buff out. Power lunch. Let's go up here. Pretty quiet up here. So we were down there just a moment ago, and as a matter of fact, if we had gone up this ramp, 
we could have come in here without having to hack our way through the, that terminal at all. But I didn't know that at the time. And it was fine hacking through the terminal. It wasn't that big of a deal. It didn't take us that long. Bobble cum and vodka. Ugh. That sounds like a disgusting combination. Just my opinion. No offense to those of you who love to chew bubblegum and drink vodka. And I know there's a lot of you. Well, there's another terminal for us to look at. Observation deck terminal. We need our level 3 skills once again to get in here. Alright, enough with the sounds behind me. Erratically. Ho ho! Nice. Oh, it's this thing. Get out of here. Beat it. Scram. Uh, work log, last day. Date entered 2-19-2075. Entered by John L. Welch, data analyst. Description. 18 years of operating this system, and the bastards come in last week telling us to clean out our things. Everything's going fully automated. I understand the systems will find and fix errors quicker, but what I don't understand is where the hell they get off ruining a man's livelihood. I added an executable to the turret defense system they're so proud of. Just a little parting gift before they kick me out. It would be a real shame if something, or someone, accidentally activated them. So basically this guy's murdering people because he's mad he lost his job. Turret control. Uh, ooh. So, status offline, all clear. Admin, turret defense system units connected three. Please exercise caution around turret. Users should always assume that turrets are loaded and capable of live fire. So we could activate it, we could remove the targeting restrictions, or we could read about our defense system. Turret operation should be limited to a trained professionals only. Consumer commands are limited to activation slash deactivation of the turrets. Hardlined to this terminal for all other operations, please refer to a licensed technician. Any tampering will void warranty and indemnify the manufacturer against potential injury and slash or death caused to users or passersby. I'm just going to leave this as it is. I don't care if the terminals are activated or the, I mean the turrets are activated. I like to shoot them and loot them. Uh, and you can't shoot them and loot them if they don't shoot at you first. So um, I just, I'll just leave them be. I'm okay with that. More loot for me. We're supposed to be investigating the pump station for source of activity, and this is another case where the game is not telling me where to go. But that's okay. I'm gonna, we're going to explore this whole place anyway. What do we got down here? A pulse grenade? Frag grenade? Just grenades lying around, you know. The usual stuff you see in a workplace. I mean, I tell you, we've got a droid work. It's full of, like, you know, HDMI cables and network cables and, and grenades. The usual stuff. Gotten awfully quiet in here. A clown. Well, I'm going to take that just simply because I do not see a lot of those in the game. Oh, oh, defeat the security assaultron. Well, I'm not locked in here, so uh, I'm not too worried about it. Famous last words. Defeat the security assaultron. And it's dead. Oh, another one? Okay, we completed it. Now, defeat the remaining security robots. Okay. Oh, look at this guy with his putrid green stuff coming from behind. Come up here so I can shoot you, dude. Oh, it's a legendary. Oh, crap. I pressed the wrong button. Ouch, that hurt. 
a little bit tickled. Oh yeah, you better run away. <laughs> okay, another legendary here. Bloodied Sledgehammer. Seriously, I get a stupid sledgehammer from a Robo Brain? Man, I was thinking we might actually get a cool... Alright. <laughs> a cool weapon. Oh, we completed the quest waste management. Okay. Okay. Anyway... <laughs> Item reward. The gutter. Stim packs right away. Purified water. Cryogenic grenade. I forgot these things blow up. And bloody sludge does more damage, lower your health, is 40% more power. Blah, blah. Who cares? I don't care about that one little teeny tiny, tiny bit. Well, I mean, we completed the quest called Waste Management. I don't really feel like it explained anything, though. Do you? Um, let's see if I could find it in this un... Uh, alphabetical list. Unalphabetical? Well, I mean... Okay, for some reason I thought there was like there would be some like final text down here. So uh, we were supposed to find the source of the robots, and I guess this room is the source of them. But I still don't really know why they were. This place was overrun with robots. That is not creepy at all. Yikes! Shish. Let's just look around down here. Settlers always have pre-war pre money on them. They never went cashless, I guess, in this alternative universe. For a moment it said caution, as if there was some something down here. So I guess if I had trouble fighting those security robots, this would have been a place I could have gone to skirt past them, maybe. So, we've completed the quest, but uh, we're going to continue to look around, because it looks like there's still stuff to see. Turn my light back off so I'm not this big giant beacon that says, shoot me. We came in up there, right? Another settler over there, maybe. Well, there's a turret. I don't know why it's not shooting at me. I know why it's not shooting at me now. Because <laughs> I blew it up. Laser turret that shoots 38 ammo? A laser turret? Okay. What was that? For just a moment, there was something red there. Did you see that? Is there a turret up here I'm not seeing? I don't know. I ain't worried about it. Metal pile. Uh, another settler here. Saltron invader. Eh. Interesting. Okay. Oh good, there is a terminal here. Well, maybe we'll learn something. Let's see. What was that? Oh. Industrial trunk. Eh, I'll pick that crap up too. Uh, control terminal. Let's see what's up. Warning. Network malfunction. Error code 451. Work log. Robot. Fabricators. Date entered 3-8-2075. Entered by James E. Peak. Mechanic. Description. Completed installation of the robot fabricators. As of now, this station is fully automated. Personally, I think they went overboard with the military-grade security, but hey, I'm sure the defense contract secured an eighth yacht for some bigwig asshole at Robco. Automated status reports. Uh, project designation, White Spring Pipeline. Status ongoing. Power consumption, peak range, and amount dispersed. 
Okay. Harper's Ferry Stormwater Management System. Okay. Uh, remote door control and play holotape. I don't know where this door is going to be, but let's play the holotape real quick. Hello, Marty. Oh, that one stopped too, damn it. Okay. Uh, well, I did the same thing that I did in, in the previous episode. Um, I thought that if you started playing a holotape and exited out of it, it would continue to play so you could look at the subtitles. I swear the game used to be like that. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure... I mean, I've put well over 200 hours in this game, and I'm pretty sure I've done that multiple times before. But it's not working now. So now... Man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find this one. This is... I mean, we heard Hello Maudie, but... Uh, I do not know. Crap, man. Um, I mean, who knows? It could be anything down here. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to find out the name of this uh, holotape because I don't want to miss it. I don't want to waste y'all's time scrolling through here. So give me just a moment. Okay, uh, I don't know if you just saw that. Well, you did because I edited it in, but I'm sitting here uh, looking on my phone um, to see if I could find out the name of um, the, this holotape um, that I just picked up. And whoops, something, something exploded. I don't know what it was. Something exploded and something fell down here. That was kind of weird. Anyway, I just thought I'd comment on it. Back to my search. So far, no luck. We'll see. Hello, Marty. Okay. <laughs> it took, took me ten minutes. Uh, I, I searched online and I did not find uh, the name of this holotape. And so I actually started at the bottom of this list, one by one, doing this. Silas. Things are going well. It's... Because I remembered that the holotape started with, Hey, Maud. Well... It's called 4 Mod. So this is the holotape we picked up. Sheesh. Here it is. Hello, Marty. Hopefully you're still alive to hear this after my uh, modifications to the bot targeting parameters. If you are, you have probably noticed that all the exits topside are sealed shut and you are... <laughs> so screwed. I get it, Maud. You thought you were safe. You thought you built a home for all those helpless saps down here and refused to give way to how the world really works now. <laughs> yeah, that's how I knew you'd pull some dumb shit like this. Before you and your crew ran off into the tunnels like a bunch of rats, you asked me why I was doing all of this. Now the reasoning is... Uh, it's pretty simple. The mean guys always win, Maud. Things are no different now than before the bombs. Hell. It's the reason most of us landed down here in the first place. I just figured I may as well be the one to mean up before somebody else beat me to it. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I was just thinking how my daddy would be so proud of me. You know, his boy following in his footsteps in waste management. <laughs> uh, I will see you in hell, Maud. Nice guy. Well, that's Marcus for you. He decided to be mean just because he wanted to be mean before everybody else. Good job. Way to take initiative, Marcus. Gold star. Well, um, is there more to explore here? I don't think there is. Um, because if we come through here, actually, I guess there's a little tiny bit, like maybe over there. Uh, up there, we could walk up there and check that out. So let's go do that before we leave this place entirely. 
See if I can get up there. This is um an exit from the water down here. I guess I ignored, but we've already walked down here. Okay, let's go up and check out this little room. Metal pile here. Terminal here at the end of this catwalk. For who knows what reason. Well, you know. Man, I could have swore I saw it say 556 five, rounds. I could have swore I saw that. I guess maybe I just wanted to see it so bad that I made it up in my head, but I could have swore that's what it said. Oh well. I'll take the 308, we'll sell it. Oh, why did I want that canned coffee? What am I gonna do with that? Men tats. Let's do some scrapping. Why not? Ooh, scrap junk to produce springs. Uh, I have some apparel I think I want to scrap. Heavy leather left arm. Muffled treated leather left arm. Alright, we didn't get anything cool from it, but whatever. Ooh, metal box. Okay, well, I guess that's pretty much it, huh? Uh, I don't, I don't think there's any place else to go. Um, trying to remember the burrows out there. I remember if there was like any path I didn't take, but I feel like I was pretty thorough. But you know how it is. Even though you try to be thorough, you still miss things. Well, I do, anyway. Alright. Well, um, I guess the robots... I don't know, I guess... Marcus did the robot thing, too? I mean, he mentioned that he sealed the door shut. Um... I don't know. Well, we can uh, fast travel out of here without too much trouble. So we don't really need to walk back back out into the burrows to get out of here. But um, as far as where I want to go, uh, I really don't know. Um, uh, because we've visited, I believe we've visited everywhere there is to visit on the map uh, except for maybe one place um, I haven't really walked over here to this fisher site. Fisher sites really aren't that interesting and plus they, you know, they have scorch beasts flying around them so I'm not really eh, excited to go there um, so yeah, I don't other than the end game um, I don't know where else to explore or where else to go. Uh, the Wastelanders DLC, I don't know when it comes out. And I also don't know if... I'm going to guess that um, it's okay if I do this final mission. Or what I believe to be the final mission here. This um, I Am Become Death. I think it's okay if I do that. And then play the... Uh, Wastelanders DLC, hopefully. Because, you know, sometimes DLCs, your game has to be in a certain state, you know? Um, but I think I'll be okay. So, I guess I'm going to try to find a block of time where, that I could set up uh, where I could do this quest uninterrupted, because I have a feeling this is going to take me longer than an hour, and I have a feeling that it's one of those things that you kind of have to start at the starting, and um, not... 
stop in the middle of it, which I often have to do because, you know, because I'm uh, playing in hour-long chunks. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what we're going to do in the next episode. Um, that If that next episode isn't the one where I do that quest, because I, I can't think of a time when I'm going to have time to do that anytime soon. So, uh, next episode, maybe... We'll go over here to this Fisher site just because it's the one place on our map that... Oh, there's two of them. Well, this is a, this is a different one. <laughs> I just totally noticed that. Okay, well, there's one here. There's one here. So I guess next episode we'll go to those Fisher sites and find some Scorch Beasts. I don't know. Not that exciting, in my opinion. Uh, and then uh, I'll go through my comments and see if any of you guys have, uh, uh, have any suggestions of places I've missed, things I've missed. Because there could be, you know, stuff like, um, you know... Um, you know, maybe I've never actually been to Poseidon Power Substation PX-03. You know, just because something's blue doesn't mean I actually visited it. It's possible that there's something blue on here that I, I was like, oh, I'll come back to that later, and I never did, but I've forgotten about. So if you know of anything like that, let me know. Okay, well, there you go. That'll do it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me, leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.